far from here at all. That can all of you help bring it over? The cow or the griffin? How big is the cow? It's a half of a cow. How big is it? It's the size of half of a cow. I will carry it. Yeah, are we talking about like a Jersey cow here, or like what are we talking about? What is Jersey? This is true. Is it veal? It's a filthy, filthy place. You don't ever want to go there. <laughs> oh man, I get to give Joe his first GFY. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Yay! One of us. One of us. One of us. Where's your bond, uh, boy? No way. I'll throw you. Just keep Where's your it bond? here before uh, he begins walking and he kind of keeps taking double takes back at the griffin and like wiping off uh, where he was tackled onto the ground and where the griffin bit his collar. Gonna cast uh, and tangle it still held down? on it. Currently, yes. Because Squatchy keeps uh, that up. Goliaths can carry an insane amount of weight. For sure. <laughs> he will uh, pick, pick up uh, Michael, Michael Chicken. Right Pick him up Gigant and Gigant action dash. Been asking about using his token. Oh, absolutely. Where did I miss that? Please, let's do it. He said something about using polymorph on Michael Chicken to turn him into a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you would like to do? Uh, Gigantic Loki, if you confirm that, we'll make it happen. Also, remember, <laughs> chat has one kill any NPC they want because we've met the thousand dollar goal. So as long as chat is like, yeah, obviously that person, we all agree, then we make that happen. Just saying. They could also kill the lich and just completely derail this one shot. <laughs> <laughs> it would change things. Giant Loki said that is funny to me. So all right. He's we can kill Tunic, turn right? him into a cow. You want to turn him into a cow? Sounds good. Let's use the token. That means we've used two tokens, the Polymorph Potion. We still have the immensely powerful magic item, which now Drew holds, uh, and the Time Stop one, which uh, Xanar gave to Isn't She Classic. So, bada bing, bada boom. As you're walking, you're like, where's this barn? He's, he's it's right over as, uh, what did they say they wanted to turn him into? A cow. <laughs> a cow. Uh, as uh, you're like, where's this barn? You turn back. And when you look back, a dairy cow stares you in the face. <laughs> he is going to dead ass look this cow in the eye and be like, that's a Jersey cow. And just like action dash wherever that he thinks the barn oh, is. Man, you get a second one. You knew you were going to get one, but you get one. I, <laughs> I commend it. Props to it. The dedication. Is the cow uh, in reach of the cow? Oh, oh, shoot. Think creative. I thought you were saying give him the token for him to choose. You're giving it to him as in giving him the magic item. Yes, that is correct. Sounds good to me. Right. As, Terry, you turn and see the cow that was there. It's Pasquale. You also see it. Squatchy. You also see the new cow sitting next to the griffin. Terry, you turn and you see falling out of Michael Chicken's pocket is a small amulet. Ooh. I take it. As you pick it up, it seems to have a small heart-like locket with a chain of very thin sterling silver. I put it on. You Throw the locket on and over. Doesn't seem to have any effect, but it's a nice looking locket. Oh, how wonderful. There's a cow. Is the griffin <laughs> going to eat the cow? The griffin's entangled. You can let it. The dog is licking my face. <laughs> Lay down for the people. They want to see you. He's trying to wake you up. Squatchy can we, it. Squatchy, cow, uh... can we feed the cow to the griffin? You tell me what you're doing. Roxanne's perception is high enough that he would have noticed the shift. He's going to 
he's still gonna say we have a cow we have a hungry griffin maybe let them go uh squatch is gonna put one and two and three and four together and he's gonna dispel and tangle and let the hungry griffin do what it wants <laughs> as a little tantamount to murder the griffin suddenly is released from the vines and pulls its leg free of the dirt and in a display of intimidation its wings fly open as it crocks at all of you and looks around before it looks over at the cow hungrily and kind of pecks its beak the cow tries to like waddle away but it's a very milk filled dairy cow as it tries to waddle forward uh, the griffin who jumps up and grabs the dairy cow with its talons the dairy cow is hoisted in the air it doesn't seem to hurt it as it grabs it with its talons it's mostly just grappling it however you all watch as the cow is flown off somewhere into the mountains to the southwest. Goodbye, cow friend. Do I see this as I'm tracking? We're about to go back to you, Brooke. <laughs> as Brooke, you've been tracking these footsteps for some time now. You follow them to the south as the stench fills your nostrils once more. You see that they lead to the outhouse before a ton of other footprints, most of which made by all of you are here in the outhouse. You'd have to look again for her footprints to see if you could find anything else that might tell you where she went. You need me to roll. Yeah, absolutely. If that's what you want to go for, roll me an investigation. Um, it's Did did I just miss it? Seventeen. Seventeen. Sorry. Gotcha. No, I no, no, no. Have spoken loud enough. <laughs> You're good. Seventeen. You look around, trying to find some tracks. You remember where all you stood before, and you didn't go anywhere outside of basically right in front of the outhouse. So any other tracks that you can find seem to be fine. There seems to be a few other tracks that lead away from this outhouse, but none of them look like Shana's. And then you see. The similar boot prints that you're quite familiar with leading further into the southwest. Mm. Do they look do they look heavy like she's been running? No. They look to have been taking her time. How long does look uh, How long? Been, has it been like ten minutes since I've started? Do I start to sense that she's nearby? You still have the power activated, but you do not sense that she is nearby yet. Um, once again, I'm gonna note that that's where I've left off and where he's headed, at least where I think to uh, head back to the party. Okay. To get them. As you walk back over, walking down the small hill that led up to the outhouse, you hear a loud mooing overhead. And you look up between the trees and you see griffin wings flying with the cow. They must have gotten the cow that they asked for as it flies towards the mountains in the southwest. I'm just gonna... Huh. <laughs> Keep walking. Does the cow have a lisp? Move. 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 It's not actually this. It's just how he likes to talk. As uh, you suddenly see Brooke emerge from the forest in the direction that you sent, uh, quote unquote, sent the griffin and the cow, quote unquote, cow. Yeah. Oh, cute little kitty. <laughs> what are you all doing? Pascal, is the ghost still here? <laughs> Pasquale has like the most like, yep, that's that's my team kind of look on his face. <sighs> He's going to detect uh, good and evil again. Okay. As you do so, you 
look around with your eyes glowing a faint purple, and you see, yet again, the energy of some spectral creature floating nearby. Right in he'll, between uh, all of you in the group. He'll take another javelin and, and stake it. And he he left the other one, by the way. So <laughs> it's just a javelin out there. My... Am I yeah. there at this point, or am I still on my way back? No, yeah, you're there with them. Okay. If you want to explain what no, you saw, no. you can do that as well. But Pascale uh, shows another javelin in the ground. Right here. Oh, be gone. Would you see Brooke? Uh, I follow some footprints to what I believe was Shayna's. And it led me right back to where we first went when we were following ruby and mm -hmm. it led to the outhouse again but i searched through all the footprints of ours and she went further southwest so if we want to go find her i think that's where we need to head that's so far our strongest lead we best get to squatch let's squatch away we squatch all of you heading to the southwest to the southwest. Okay. As you head on in that direction, you begin to see some familiar trees. Uh, you see the outhouse that you saw before as Brooke finds the... Uh... Sorry, I was looking at <laughs> Brooke's cat. Uh, you, you begin to see the footprints uh, that lead you even further along. And then you also recognize some markings on the trees. Pascale, that you left in there with a knife so you could find your way back when you went to the lich's tomb. Uh -oh. You seem to be headed back in the same direction you originally went. We are, uh, we seem to be heading back for the tomb. You guys might want to ready up. Oh dear. Lich round two, baby. Electric boogaloo. I'm Use a lot of my skulls, but I think I'll be okay. Should we take a nap? Uh, no. <laughs> Naps are good. What do you want to do? I'm not opposed, I'm not opposed to a nap. I think we should all take a quick nap. I'm doing just fine. I'll keep watch. Perfect. Perfect. I'm okay too. And uh, Roxon will actually reach into his pouch and he will pull out a small wooden uh, vial with a, a cork cap on it and he'll pass it over to Brooke and he'll say, Here, drink this. It'll get you ready. And he's right going to pass. Right now, he's going to pass her a greater mana or a greater potion of mana. Ooh, very generous. Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, so mana potions are a homebrew thing uh, of mine that you basically roll them like you would a health potion, but uh, a minor one would be a d4, or a greater one in this case is a d6. As you roll it, if you roll a six, for instance, you can restore one six level spell slot or two third level spell slots or six first level spell slots. They're quite oh. valuable. Which six? Through? <laughs> oh, it's a six. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go buy Dicey and Counter's Dice. Uh, right. Available in my store next When's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you can restore any combination of six spell slot levels. As, I'm going to restore all three of my sets. As you drink it, you begin to taste immensely just... Uh, as if you dragged your tongue along a meadow. They were falling asleep oh, in that Wanting to use the token to kill Ithka. <laughs> I've heard it a few times so far, too, yeah? Hey, we're back. Yay. Yay. I'm going to post the Twitch link just on my uh, <laughs> little YouTube dashboard and say, like, if you're trying to watch the stream, it seems to be having trouble on YouTube. 
go check it out here. Um, but you can restore any combination of spell slots that you want. As uh, you taste this mana potion, again, it feels like you're licking a meadow. A combination of this world and the Feywild, as well as the essence of magic itself, seems to have been distilled heavily into one single potion. Awesome. It feels amazing. It feels like you just got a full night's rest in an instant. Wow. Thank you, Roxon. It was Roxon who handed me that, right? Yep. Thank you. I hold my finger up for a tiny high five. <laughs> Roxon, you reciprocate, I assume. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, you... my wife had sent me a text message. <laughs> oh, you're good. Uh, as you do the tiny high five, do you all continue walking or are you stopping to take a little rest? Um, I still can use I'm sorry after that, but. I can Anyone continue. else needs it. Okay. <laughs> Onward. What does a robot need a rest for anyway, right. as all of you continue to go onward, yeah, to the southwest. You start to see more and more of those markings that you made before, Pasquale. You can almost anticipate now where these tracks that Brooks is following are going to lead you as you head further and further into the forest. Nearing the base of the mountain, you will eventually find that small little hill with the skull made of rocks on top of it. He found the entrance to the tomb once more. We are back at the spooky place. What are you all doing? Ain't no rest for the wicked, I suppose. Money does not grow on trees. Let us go. When we first fought this thing, how far into this tomb did we go before we encountered? Oh, you had to go all the way to the end of the tomb before you found the lich. Luckily, you cleared out all the monsters inside. Um, how? Can I cast a spell when we get to the point where we're pretty certain we're about to encounter? Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to cast it too, but... Are you all going to enter the tomb once more? Yeah. Uh, Pasquale will uh, light a uh, torch as well. As you enter the tomb, you move the giant stone wheel that covers the entrance, just like you did before. This is all very, very familiar. As you climb down this small, narrow entryway, it would be very very claustrophobic because you basically have to slink your body with arms all the way upwards to be able to fit and not get stuck. I need everybody who's you've done this before, but I still need deck saves from everybody. It lowers the DC from what it was last time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> DM question. Would they get a plus two on that since we would be separated at some point? Uh, it's for all saves. Within 10 feet. Uh, actually, wait, I don't even know why I said saves. Yes, normally they would have. However, this is a, you need to do an acrobatics to like slide through there. This is a I check, not a save. Five. This is a check. Okay. Yeah, I'm dumb. One of, one of my racial, or my, uh, yeah, racial features lets me fit through a one inch space. You don't have to worry, Roxon. <laughs> <laughs> you quickly zzz, fly on down like a fly. And as, as I move and I will reach back and grab my, uh, my spoon and I will cast light on it. As you begin to go downward, those of your companions who cannot see in the dark very much welcome your light spoon. I'm going to use my luck point to re-roll my... Sounds I good. To... Go straight to Twitch only. Uh, I can't hear you all, though, so I'm going to disconnect and reconnect. Hello. Hi. Hi. Cool. Um, we heard you. Yeah, I could see the nods. <laughs> I just my couldn't hear. My mean popped up. <laughs> Uh, so, Squatchy, you said you were about to touch everybody on the shoulder? Yep, and give them guidance. Okay. Uh, you'll have to give it to them one at a time. It's just how guidance works. Uh, but you basically like, you got this. Each time one of them tries to make their way down the hole, which gives you an additional D4 on your uh, acrobatics roll. So, whoever's going first, uh, I assume Roxon was originally uh, using the light, but everybody else follows. Uh, tell me who's following Roxon. I will. Terry, go and ahead and roll me an I... acrobatics. I rolled a, well, at first I rolled a five, and then I used my inspiration and got a dirty 20. Solid. As <laughs> naughty 20. You try and <laughs> park yourself 
down in the hole before. Instead, you basically turn yourself into a small torpedo-like shape that you just boom, bing, 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 and allow yourself to ping back and forth down inside the hole to where you make it down into the cave. No problems. Who's following? Pasquale. I'll go after. Okay. Uh, Pasquale, you go ahead and roll your acrobatics with uh, an extra d4. He'll use his girth to clear the way. <laughs> girth. Thick. Uh, <laughs> Thick girth. <laughs> uh, acrobatics, not athletics, right? Correct. 18. 18. You are easily able to move your way down there. Any rocks that might have given you a problem, you just <laughs> tried to snap it with your elbow, and that allowed you to go in just fine. You had to do that last time. Maximum go ahead. Girth. And he'll light a torch at the bottom. As uh, the light from uh, Rocks and Spoon illuminates the way, you feel always competent to have your own light. As Brooke, you try and make your way down. Go ahead and roll your acrobatics. Uh, I rolled a 13 plus a 3 from guidance, so 16. Okay, that is just enough. You choose not to go feet first. You uh, crawl yourself down the hole, not wanting to not be able to see what you're doing, and as such, slide very easily down into the cave. Squatchy, you're the last one up. I'm going to slap, slap my own butt cheek to get myself. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> and I might have slapped my butt cheek a little too hard because that is a seven. <laughs> As you give yourself the old, get it! As you jump down. <laughs> In doing so, you catch your chin on one of the rocks on the way down and take a huge gash. Uh, you take 24 points of piercing damage as you jumped very, very hard down into the cave. Squatchy's dead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Squatchy, no! Um, I'm going to pull out a potion <laughs> and drink a potion. Okay. Scratchy, as soon as he gets down, goes, ah, and just starts drinking the potion. You see some of the liquid come out from the bottom of his neck before the healing potion's nature does seal the wound. It's going to be a uh, potion of healing, a greater. So that's 4d4 plus 4 hit point. Yes. I'm going to roll the first two. Six. I'm going to roll the next two. So, 16 health back. Huh? You get... Oh, say bye, Loki. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you heal some health back as it kind of seals the wound in your chin. Uh, as all of you sitting in the light of this tomb, you now see the forked pathway from before. You've taken the wrong turn before, and you've seen what that leads to. Swinging gondola-like axes moving back and forth at a constant pace. Very, very hard to dodge. The other one had a terrible, terrible abomination, but that's since dead now. An uh, almost mechanical beast uh, that seems to carry corpses on its back lies destroyed and completely rendered useless in this hallway. But you can walk through it, no problem. Keep an eye out for the spanking machine. Can I... Can I... I'm not great at investigation, but can I just look for traps? Yeah, absolutely. Mostly on the ground. You have advantage since you've been here before. Okay. Investigation? Correct. 16? 16. As you look around, you're certain most of the traps went the way of the axes. The creatures that were in here often avoided them as they didn't really know how to tell friend from foe, uh, and they didn't want to get hit by them either. This pathway here is going to lead by a lot of dead bodies, but it's not going to necessarily lead you through too many traps. Brooke seems pretty confident that you could go down this pathway where the crypt horror is. Do we see any uh, footprints leading further back? You roll a survival if you'd like. Sure. Okay. Uh, super sleuth, squatchy. Back Got at a it. One. Back at Plus it again. Dude, so a three. 
As a uh, Squatchy, you can't tell the difference between your footprints from the last time you all were here and footprints now. You see some of Shayna's footprints and you think, oh, that could be them right over there as you uh, you go down onto the floor uh, and trip, landing your face first into it. Dust fills your nose as you <laughs> sneeze again, causing the dust on the floor to dissipate. Solid rolls uh, on your investigation tonight, Will. My pleasure. Yes. <laughs> blind leading the blind. My glasses. Where are my glasses? May I, I look, look as well? well? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And sorry, my neighbor just gave me my inhibit X. That was delivered to Ooh. my house. Nice. Oh, Ooh. no. I have rolled a six. Two dumb brothers coming in clutch as uh, <laughs> Terry looks over and says, I think I can help with that. Uh, as you uh, rush down, you create a little light uh, with your finger just like um, before. Uh, and in doing so, you put it down on the ground and it kind of almost like spider webs that are stuck on the ground. The, spi the fire begins to spread even further, eliminating all traces of footprints, even the ones you had from before. If there were any footprints in this labyrinth in which you walked on that you may have needed, you have caused quite a problem by erasing them now. Oopsies. I goof. What are we doing? Oh. Uh, Roxanne's going to just proceed down the pathway. Deeper into Roxon, you're just flying, I assume. Yeah. Sounds good. Roxon begins moving forward. You can all see the light of this tiny little fairy. It almost looks like Navi uh, in the dark because of the lit up spoon as it flies further down the corridor in which you've all traversed before. You all following Roxon? Sounds good. As you're doing so, I need everybody to roll me a perception check. I do have a passive of 23, but I'll still roll. So did you get like mad wisdom and then expertise and then what? Uh, what's the other one? Alert? Uh, I have observant and observant. wisdom is my primary stat. So yes, I do have high wisdom. Got ya. But I'm also <laughs> proficient in perception. So that, that added my proficiency bonus to it. 24. Squatchy. Uh, 18. It's the Pasqu only thing that I can roll high, apparently. <laughs> Pasquale and Brooke? 16. What'd you say, Brooke? Soft 20. Soft 20. So, the bottom three down here all recognize as you're walking down this pathway the light from the spoon and the light of Pasquale's torch reflect off of the wet surfaces on the wall from water that seems to have seeped down from the mountain. This carved stone and some man-laid brick of this tomb, always moist and kind of shiny and reflective. You notice something a bit dull on the line. There seems to have been a tripwire trap, one that you avoided and disengaged before that has reset itself down this hallway. Or someone reset it. You catch it before Squatchy and Pasquale walk across it and stop them. How did, we, how did we disengage it the first time? You can always attempt to do so with a sleight of hand check. None of you are straight rogues, uh, so it is more difficult as you don't have thieves tools. But you always can try and 